Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. So before I start with a general tarot reading for October for your sign, I first want to do a quick smudge and a meditation so we can release the energy for September and invite new one in for October. All right, so if you're for some reason not capable of getting into the meditation right now or you want to come back later to it, then you can find the link or the timestamp link um, in the comment section that will take you right up to the point where I start the tarot reading. All right, if you are in for it, then join me on this journey. Let's get started. Thank you for tuning in to this meditation. Get comfortable. In whatever way, shape or form that is for you, you can lay down, you can sit up, you can maybe stand, walk around in nature. It's whatever for you is the most comfortable way. Okay, I'm going to start off with smudging some white sage. You can open your eyes or keep your eyes open. Maybe you want to close them once again whatever makes you feel comfortable. This is a safe space. So whatever emotion or feeling comes up, allow it to come in and allow it to get out. Right? There's no right, no wrong. Whatever is meant to come up will always will come up but we're here to release and let go all right releasing all the energy from the month of september all the low frequencies all the insecurities the uncertainties the worries the lack The losses we release it now we don't need it anymore releasing the fear all that is not serving our highest good we let it go Breathe in, breathe out, releasing the weight, we take from September what was serving us. The moments of inner peace, the moments of gratitude, the moments of laughter and joy, the moments of growth, the moments of expansion, the moments of soul to soul connections. Breathe in. Breathe out. We're inviting in high frequency for October. May this month show us beauty inside of us and all around us. May we be open for opportunities that want to come and flow towards us. May we invite in growth and expansion. May we feel the love for ourselves and for each other. And approach ourselves and others from a place of compassion and kindness and patience. Breathe in and breathe out. Thank you. 
thank you. You can open up your eyes if they were closed. Namaste, I see you. Thank you for joining this meditation. Let's get into the general tarot reading for October. All right, Aries, let's get into your October reading. I hope you guys enjoyed the meditation. If that's something you decided to join, you can always come back to it later. So an exciting full moon in your sign is happening in like two, three days from now. Maybe you're watching this after the first of October. So and then it just recently passed, but the energy will be active for quite some time. But of course, on the first, it's at its fullest. So it's mostly heightened for you. So what I feel when it comes to your first moon, of course, your first house, it's the house of self, the sense of self. How do you... Um, bring yourself out to the world you guys represent the first house in in the zodiac sign so there's just a lot of power coming in for you if you're deciding to maybe changing certain things to how you represent yourself to the world how do you feel about yourself what you stand for what you embody basically and it really gives that sense of push you know almost like you're getting some help from above to really set some new things into motion and I think that that is really um, decluttering you know clearing out some energy clearing out some space maybe you physically want to clean cleanse some things but I think just you and focusing on yourself with your relationship you have with yourself in this moment in time should be the focus on it's really about you and not necessarily putting other people in the into the party basically but it's really just sit with yourself just go over certain things what uh, maybe have a conversation with your own inner child you know with your childhood dreams and things like that what do you where are you in life right now and and what would you what would you thought that you would have done differently not necessarily like oh let's look at the things you didn't do or didn't do right no it's about what when you for example were 15 16 and you thought okay when i'm like 20 or i'm 25 i'm 30 and you know you might not now be around that age or older and it's like okay how much different is it from the pathway you thought you would walk and what other things have you and in integrate into your pathway and what have teach you like what what is it um what is it, what type of lessons did it bring to you aries that's what i'm feeling so you got two cards you have the eight of spring and then you have the ego card with the siamese kitten you're so beautiful all right busy bees right eight of spring you've been presented with many wonderful opportunities all at once while this may be very stressful remember that to be grateful for the blessings that heaven sent you then it came with this ego card you may feel like you're trapped in your situation but that's not true be careful not to overly focus upon material wealth and break free of negative thinking so that's a little side note i'm not necessarily looking on picking the opportunities or going into a stream where everything that brings a sense of inner peace rest feeling of freedom like if it takes and and you have to neglect all those parts in order to have that house or have this thing is it really worth neglecting that part of yourself from it's good to focus upon things that serve you beyond the material all right if it if it uh, gives you something material of course but if it doesn't serve you beyond that i think right now um it will only take more from you than actually give you or give you that sense of fulfillment with when you reach your goals and that's what i'm feeling about this whole full moon energy for you guys you know there's a lot of focus on you when it comes to mars as well so it's all about taking action for you what do you want to do what do you want to change where do you want to go it's all in your first house it's it's about you you know and if you focus up on yourself it doesn't necessarily mean yourself is of self-centered no it's actually really good to get to know yourself on a deeper level again of the things that you went went through in 2019 was quite turbulent as well for a lot of you guys and so then just recalculate where are you and and um when you center yourself you have a clear vision again you can really also give a sense of commitment or connection to other people around you again 
the real you, the centered version of yourself. All right, let's see what the tarot has for you. Let's look at the first beginning of the month. Starting off the death, you see the first card is the <laughs> the October card. It represents October for me because of the beginning of Scorpio season, October, November. But it's the eight card represents the eight house for Scorpio. It brings in that sense of transformation. Sometimes bringing something to a close can have a bittersweet feeling. You know, you know it's gonna get better. You know the sun will shine, but saying goodbye to something first can really put you in a certain energy so in the beginning of the month you might feel like you're sort of leaving things and you're not really comfortable with not knowing what comes in place of that you know that it doesn't really feel good that it doesn't really fit you anymore or align with you but then what does so don't if you are being offensive i'm not saying you are but if you've been feeling offensive in the beginning of the month towards change and transformation try to open up towards it because it can really serve you because i feel like you might think that things have been taken away from you but there are just being <laughs> there's just space created for something better to come in look at that ace of pentacles so beautiful it could be a level a deeper level of commitment it could be commitment to yourself it could also be a payout a bonus um I'm hearing positive predictions. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, so somebody might hand you a little insight in how things are gonna, you know, work out for you. You might start to just feel that on a, in a in a sense of self, right? It's almost like I don't know why, but it just feel like everything is gonna be okay. I have this feeling. I'm just gonna go with it. Look at that. I'm just gonna go with these cards by the middle of the month you already got more things coming in you have beautiful shift of energy in the middle of the month you have the two of cups with the three of pentacles the wheel of fortune and the six of pentacles meaning that if you're dealing with a new relationship or something you, you kind of lost each other you know you didn't really feel in alignment with one another i really do see that there is a balance thing happening both of you wanting to put in the work both of you wanting to put in the effort you know like when it comes to quarantine a lot of people have been stuck in the house together it's like you know do i actually have to like you know put on makeup or do my hair or put on clothes if i'm just at home but you know you might both just want to put in some work i don't know maybe both get dressed up or do something nice or just you know and have a little party in the living room together <laughs> in whatever way shape or form that is fitting for the two of you but at least that you make an effort and i feel like some of you just want to feel that way that the person made an effort and maybe it's vice versa maybe it's you it's like people might not want to too much of you but just that they see that you're trying you know putting in an effort to change the situation and i think that just has to do not necessarily only with a relationship but it could be with more it's like you don't have to show up and do everything in order to have somebody's attention or in order for somebody to appreciate what you're doing it's like the effort and and that you are trying and committing some of your time and energy that you have to give is enough i'm hearing okay so a little working together really sitting down okay how can we improve this situation what is work or things like that maybe you're trying to find a better way of coping with something and i feel like if you do and if you come from that place you know that more centered place of like i want to make this work but i know that this way is just not working it's not benefiting either of us or it's not benefiting yourself if it's something to do with yourself maybe the way you go about your food or other you know exercisement or anything like that maybe it's your work schedule because you might be working at home and it's like how do you keep the both of that time separate basically it's not the easiest thing to do but i do see that the moment that you're putting in time and energy you you give your part and you do your part with in whatever way that is for you aries it really does make a big difference by the time you know in the middle of the month you start to see the first signs in the beginning but by the time middle of the month you really start seeing changes happening let's look at the end of october 
let's look at that energy beautiful you have the hangman in reverse normally i don't really read reversals but it does have a significant message all right ending of october for aries all right I want to clarify the Seven of Swords for you. Picking up a different tarot deck for that. Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords, end of October, Seven of Swords. Yeah, okay. So, what I feel with this is that by the end of the month, you're starting to really see things from a different point of view, starting to see things from um higher perspective and i think that that was what was meant to happen all along that's why this energy is some challenge so challenging on some of you because it's really trying to push you towards that transformation and growth looking at things from a different point of view and a different aspect because i feel like it's too much based on giving all your energy giving all your time and you don't always have to Give everything you have in order to feel I did my best, you know? Especially if you're really self-sacrificing in whatever situation that is for you. It's not really going to give you the results that you're actually working for. Because you're neglecting a sense of self. And that is not really a magnet for manifestations. And I'm just, you know, just saying <laughs> as it is. It's when we find that balance. Of course, hard work and effort and all of that is required and sometimes we do have the two weeks where we're just you know we've got deadlines we've got to put in time but then how do you even it out after that period of time and if you just go 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 and it's not really giving you any space or time to reassess or actually enjoy the life that you're building then it just feels like a one big heavy weight on your shoulders and I feel like you're clearing out the energy. You might have something you're walking around with and you were afraid to share or you would just like, maybe it's not so smart to share that with that person or to open up about that. Maybe it has to do with you're working on social media and you're not feeling that great, but you're really afraid of taking a break or opening up or showing your vulnerable side to the people who, you know, follow you basically. That's not for all, but that's for some of you. I see you like really taken in that energy of like no i'm going to put myself first because self-love comes first and from that i can give more freely you know and i think that that's just really the beginning of starting to see the real rewards and results coming in for you aries things very powerful all right let me think no I'm going to clarify the beginning, middle and end of October for you more on my Patreon. That's for my Patreons. Feel free to join me over there. I'm going to do extended on this reading on the monthlies. Uh, I also have some extra things that I'm posting over there for my Patreons. But if you're, um, you know, maybe don't want to join me over there or maybe not this month, that's totally fine. But then this is the energy that I'm feeling and picking up for you. And I think that's enough also, you know, to start off with. So <laughs> um, I want to wish you guys an amazing Halloween. I'll leave the link to my Patreon in the description box. So you can find it there for the extended. Um, yeah, thank you for tuning in. And I'm excited for your full moon, Aries. So I'm going to be sitting in your energy, all right? <laughs> I love you. Bye, Aries. Have a beautiful October.